Gary, you've played this golf course a lot. I'm sure you've seen it more difficult than this, but where would you rank it, kind of degree of difficulty? I mean, it, it's tough. Yesterday afternoon, I thought it was as tough as I've seen it. I mean, it, the, there's not much grass on the greens, and the wind starts blowing like it did. You just get some, some – you're just playing defensive out there. You're putting so defensively. Um, I, I finally, on 17, I told Butch, I think that's the first time I had a putt into the wind all day. It seemed like you're putting across the green, and it's downhill, and there's no grass. It gets past the hole, it's gone. So it was tough. The, the, maybe a little slower today on the greens, which helped, but the golf course is brutal hard. What kind of a bonus is it to make two at 17? A big. I mean, I, I saw John hit a shot in front of me perfect, and it rolled to the back of the green, so I tried to get a little fancy and – I got away with it, um, but like I said, it was the first putt I had uphill into the wind, I think, all day, and it allowed me to finally be aggressive, um, but that's definitely a bonus to make two there. What were you hitting in there? Six iron. Six iron. Um, John hit a perfect one, so I tried to cut it and came up short. And what about the eagle at six? That was nice. Um, you know, that's just really a, a lucky break because where Johnny and I were hitting the ball, I mean, he's, it's hard to keep it in the fairway. Um, you can only cover so far. And then the fairway just gets pretty narrow there. So I got lucky that the ball stayed in the first cut, and I had a perfect number for a six iron, um, holding it back up against the wind there, um, and knocked in there. Nice to see the ball go in for Eagle there too, which is good. What makes eight so hard? The tee shot. I mean, the, the tee shot's so left to right, and it's 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 an in between for me because I I probably should have hit driver today. I hit three wood and laid a little far back, but the tee shot just you gotta. You can't miss the fairway, obviously, and you're trying to needle it up there. Um, so, and then the second shot, the, the green's not very big, and it's downwind, and it's hard to stop. But the green's this firm, it's hard to stop it on the green. So it's you kind of got to get lucky. Um, the way the wind was today, the and yesterday downwind, it's going to be tough to stop it on that green. This used to be home for you, so it was always a yeah. local game. So you played it quite a bit. But now that you don't live here, because of the degree of difficulty, do you would you consider skipping it, or is this one that's always going to be on the schedule? I, I always, I when I lived here, I played, and then when I moved down south, I've always added Honda, and I just haven't played here. Um, I'm in a position right now where I needed reps, so I want to play. I, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't miss too much. I mean, it's hard playing last week and then this week. Yeah. The mental grind. Um, you know, we were talking Tampa's going to feel like. A cakewalk almost playing the last two weeks, and then obviously next week is tough as well. So we got a great stretch of golf courses here in Tampa. I mean, in, in Florida, all four of these are amazing. Um, but it's nice for me to come back. I, I had a lot of good memories here. I played I played well here in the past. Um, but I, anytime you get scores that aren't 20 under for me is usually a good thing. How does tomorrow shape up? I mean, it can get pretty wild out here. Yeah, I mean, you, the key is to get the golf ball in the fairway because you're trying to control it. And the rough is U.S. Open rough out here. It's brutal, but. Um, it's supposed to be, I'm sure the wind's supposed to be the same, I think, tomorrow. So I don't see anybody running away with it too low unless Victor continues to do what he's doing. Um, par's always a good score out here. Um, and, you know, hopefully you, you can make a couple birdies on a par fives and sneak one in somewhere else. But you're not going to have to do anything fancy. You're just going to have to control your golf ball all day. Yeah. Sam, assuming Victor stays at nine and you're five back, do you at some point just kind of just go along and then at some point do you have to do something a little different? Yeah, you, you probably need a little bit of help, but... You don't have to do too much. This golf course can jump up and get you in a hurry. Um, and obviously, sleeping on the lead's not as easy, you know, especially on this golf course. When you know it's going to come out, it's going to be tough. So for me, it's coming out and just keep plotting along, hopefully make a couple birdies on the par fives, sneak another one in, and post a number and, and let him look at it. When you get courses like last week and then this week, do they set up as being easier to chase on because so much can happen? It is. It's definitely yeah. easier, I think, to, to come from behind. But obviously when you're playing, Victor hits it so stinking good. He, you know, ball striking, he's one of the best in the world. So that sets up great for him. Um, but even last week and this week, you got to control the golf ball. It's two of the more demanding visually golf courses that we see all year. So from that part, it's a mental grind. Um, but you can see why, why Victor's up. But ball striking out here is premium. I'm not sure how the fan is going to react. The fan in you is going to react to this, but will you watch the Duke game tonight? It's I will. Yeah, I'm going to run right now because KU's playing right now, and then I'll watch the Duke. You know, Coach K is obviously what he's done, being one of the best coaches in all of the world in, in all of sports. Um, it's fascinating. Uh, I know JT's at the game, I believe, so hopefully I see him. Um, but it's uh, it's special, you know, watching him do what he's done for so long. I'm glad he's he's leaving though, because as a KU fan, I'm tired of losing them. <laughs> you, you said at the beginning of the week that uh, before you started that you felt like you played well at Honda. You tried to play well. You just needed reps. Do you still feel like your your game is progressing in that direction? It continues to get better. Today was great. Because um, I, I, I didn't play perfectly, but the short game allows me to be 
a little more forgiving with everything else. I put so much pressure on my ball striking for so long. I've hit it so poorly the last couple of years. I've had a lot of pr- or a lot of practice for the short game, and I'm putting it great. The chipping's coming along, so that frees up the ball striking a little bit. I don't have to put as much pressure on it, um, and it's starting to show. Last week was great. I'm getting a lot of confidence, starting to walk with a little more swagger again. I think, um, but it's nice. Like I said, I needed reps more than anything, and that's why I'm playing. Can you just talk about that save eighteen? Yeah, that's just that just goes back. I mean, it sh- proves I, I wouldn't have had that. I, I got up and down on the par five. 13, I think, or 12, whatever, hold up, 12, you know, and, you know, Butchie and my caddy's like, we didn't have that shot three years ago from the lie that it was in. So it just shows you that the hard work pays off. Um, I didn't get too, you know, obviously I, it was a great shot on the last hole, I was trying to land it on the fringe, which it did, but a couple years ago, I probably would have been a little more upset about the, the second shot, knowing that I probably wouldn't have been able to get that up and down. I have a lot more confidence now that I can get it up and down from tough spots. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.